be sure to go to FlipsideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. Do the same at the Grizzly Gentleman. They are both fantastic deals and they help support the show. What is up, Planeswalkers36, back with more Magic the Gathering Arena. And of course, as today is Wednesday, we're playing some Good Old Fashioned Bullets. Except for me, uh, I'm playing this on a Friday. Uh, like, 20 days before this deck comes out. 21 days before this deck comes out. Er, Sorry, 11 days. I can do basic math. Uh, yeah, so we're playing bowls. And we've made some changes. We've gone back away from Fatal Push uh, in order to have Blood Chief's Thirst. Blood Chief's Thirst is just a better card, even if we don't get value off our Torrential Gearhawk with it. Uh, we modified the uh, these cards here. We have Extinction Event instead of Rastus Contempt. Technically, this does mean that we're going to have uh, less life gain. But uh, the fact that it only costs a single black means that hopefully our mana base will be a little bit kinder to us in terms of uh, needing things to be untapped and stuff. Extinction event, we get to we, we, we just like exiling uh, a little mug, um, although it might not be uh, worth it necessarily, although it does exile. So we also have a flame sweep uh, in the main now. I really like how this performed, so I have it in the main, and we still we have the Shadow's Verdict. Uh, we, we also uh, took one Gearhawk down to go up one Sublime Epiphany. I really liked how this card performed. Uh, and then in the sideboard, we have made some modifications. I added in a Cling to Dust back, and I took out an Abrade. I think that might actually be the only thing. Our mana base is very different. Um, I'm utilizing more of the, um, the cycle lands, um, and I'm hoping that that makes the meta base better while still allowing me to flood a little less. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, let's hit up some bolus. I'm running out of, uh, running out of refreshment. In Orca Whale. In the belly of the whale. Its ribs are ceiling beams. Its guts are carpeting. I guess we have some time to kill. Mm. Got a mulligan this. Can't keep two lands. Can't keep this though. We'll get rid of the Shadow's Verdict. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Mm, yeah. Uh, my opponent did say hello, so I will go ahead and say hello now. Let's just return it. Main deck Grafter's Cage. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess technically that, uh, that could hurt me. Uh, this could be the mono white, uh, uh, no, it's not. All right. Let's see if this gets countered. Yep. Alright, so this is Azorius Control. Can't play our bolts on tips. Or we can't play our bolts because of this. Untap land. Nope. This does hurt our Gear Hulk, but cast Levi and all that. Gear Hulk is still a flash beater, which is generally fine against the uh, control deck. It's still like, oh, sorry about that, everybody. I was going to say this still likely gets countered, but uh, it didn't. So that's good. We have a threat on board. They have to answer. Um, and they have plenty of ways to answer it, but uh, regardless, it will be a two for one, even if it is just forcing them to discard a land. Teffers, now do, just bounce this. Sorry, I'm late. Or do they plus? No, they bounce it. All right. Reverse. I mean that would have been that would have been nice to see. Um, I do think we just get rid of it now. Uh, I don't want them because they very likely could have had. We're going to keep it on top. Uh, they very likely could have had a a Dovin's veto or something like that. Spell Pierce even, uh, and I didn't want to to fall into it. So I'm gonna just pay two life here. If they want to do something cute, uh, then I get to Sublime Epiphany, Epiphany potentially. Um, I could even just flash in the Gear Hulk 
leading the way for my uh, bolus to resolve. Um, so we have some good stuff. They scry one top, one bottom. Absolutely fine. Also fine. I, I do not care about that. And my opponent recognizes that uh, sensor is probably going to become less valuable uh, once we get later on into the uh, mid game. I've been watching too much chess. Mostly uh, Northern Lion playing chess. That feels like bait. I mean, I forced him to have it. We got a great epiphany there. They can obviously just recast this, but I'm fine with that. <laughs> and that was a great epiphany. Absolutely recast that. Yep. Uh, well, I'm going to do this. Because I do think it is the stronger play. We'll remake the multiverse. In my four. If I can draw an untapped land next turn, I have this with this up. Ooh, hello. Right. Blind card and uh, one card that they've kept. Another blind card. They do have Ardenvale active, but I don't think it matters. It's quite nice. Let's see what they get rid of here. Oh, they get rid of Cage? Alright, we're actually just uh, passing the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, do I? I don't think I need to show them the Gear Hulk, actually. No, I don't need to show them the Gear, the gear Hulk. They don't need to know about it. Absorb? Nah. And let's see what you have. Another Absorb. All right. Cool. All right, don't you love winning when your opponent is still at 20? Okay. We definitely like the disputes. We definitely like the thought distortions. Thought erasers are great. Um, we don't need cards that we definitely do not need. We do not need Flame Sweep. Uh, we do not need Shadow's Verdict. I mean, Shadow's Verdict is actually probably better than Extinction Event here. But I have to. I actually have to get rid of another card. Probably just Blood Chief's Thirst. I think I keep everything else. There's an argument to be made to bring in Cling to Dust. Blood Chief's Thirst. Um, maybe I keep Blood Chief's Thirst, get rid of Eliminate. And do I get rid of Eliminate, bring in Cling to Dust? It does make their Shark Tokens a little bit better. But I do still have Blood Chief's Thirst for that. Yeah, I think... Bring in Cling to Dust. I don't know if I love it, but I'll bring it in. Try to minimize the the noise, but it only worked so well. It's a little Jakey boy. I love the little Jace puppet. As you've probably noticed by now, uh, I have decided to branch out. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. Wait. Did they mean to have me go first? Maybe they have mis uh, misco dispute or something. But if they don't dis if they don't dispute my uh, my search here, this is pretty helpful. Now they could have a uh, search of their own, which would be bad-ish. They don't. That's helpful. We're not we're not gonna play it yet. We're gonna hold things up. Okay. We're gonna be we're gonna be good players, we're gonna hold this up until we have mystical dispute protection for it. Because like if we are able to leverage um, the the advantage of going first that our opponent gave us for some reason. I'm not even going to play this. Like I would rather use this later on as a counterspell. 
eternidad. Pero no sé. Si mi opponent hace algo aquí con su mano, lo hacen. Bien. 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 I am your better. Your shark typhoon means nothing. I have just the trick for this. Yes. Yes. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Why you just like leave my narset there chilling? Interesting technique. Interesting technique. Hmm. Oh yeah, someone asked why I don't play Whirlwind Denial. I meant to try that out today as well. Do I want to use my Narset here? I just want to be annoying. I think I'd rather be annoying. Yeah, I want to. I want to protect my Bolus. I don't want to. I don't want to cast it willy nilly. But my opponent knows I have a disallow. Cash in the near set. Actually, I would rather cash the near set in. Hmm. Just gonna cast this. If they if they counter this, I'm fine with that. They didn't counter it. Uh. Let's see, I'm just trying to think here. Um, they're not going to resolve their Narset. Cast out. I mean, cast out's the big issue, I think. This counter spell's annoying. I will keep that on top, I think. They might double cycle these cast outs. Come on, you can cycle one. Come on, you can cycle one of them. Don't you wanna? I didn't get rid of it. Darn. My mental probing didn't uh, didn't get me there. They do have a, an active Ventress. Narset. I'm gonna hit you with a Supreme Will, I think. Yeah, might as well get this while it getting's good. It might have a counter. Nope. Kosh. I will go to 19 gladly. Because now I can be relatively certain that my opponent is not going to be able to... Oh, now I know my opponent's not going to be able to counter my uh, Bolas. Hmm. Misco Dispute is worse now, actually. Ugh. It's fine. They're gonna get to cast out. I will spare you. In exchange for eternal servitude. That's fine. Because Sublime Epiphany is gonna be able to bounce this at a later date. One, two, three, yeah. So they're not gonna be able to play both of these. So do they just play Narsa and attack my Bolas? That that can't be it, right? What do they get rid of? They get rid of a single cast out. Okay. Witness a moat. On four. Power. Not too worried about it right now. We're on five, so better. Are they do they just cast out? Okay, that's fine. Yep, Bolas. No. Bolas goes away for a little bit. It's okay. No. I'll get you next time, Gadget. I ended that. I the cadence there wasn't correct. I recognize that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm actually gonna keep it on top because I would like to thought seize my opponent. 
Alright, goodbye. Three piss. Uh, they can flip this now, actually. They didn't. That's good. I really would like you to cast something. I'd really like you to cast something, please. I would very much like you to cast something. Oh, you know what? I actually, I actually shouldn't have thought she's there. Yeah, there's multiple reasons why I shouldn't have thought she's there. They liked whatever this was. I can't just throw that away. This is whatever this is is almost certainly getting junk. Easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh. Yeah, I, I want the. I'm no. I'm going to want a large amount of mana. I think. I'm hoping it's not a Shark Typhoon. Shark Typhoon would be the worst for me. The Avengers, that's fine. So here I have access to Sublime Epiphany. Um, and Mystical Dispute. So they are possibly going to flip this. Or, wait, did they, did they do that wrong? They did it wrong. They should have kept the... the card they don't want on top. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll do this. We will counter, bounce, draw. We will bounce, cast out. I will draw a card. Yeah, my opponent made a little bit of a tactical, tactical mistake. Because now I can, I can, like, disallow or something if I really want to. I might, honestly. Oh, hell yeah. I, like, absolutely want to now. It's possible I should have Blood Chief's th Thirst first. Yeah. Yeah, I should have Blood Chief's Thirst first. My intellect uh, I'm at 15. I want the mana. I could, I could like, sit here and do math. But I, I don't know if it's going to actually matter. Um, you may then... I'm actually just going to... Just disallow it. They don't get to look. They don't get to flip. I have a disallow and a misco dispute. I am fine with the situation. Yeah, I too. What of it? Go on, counter my spell. Do it. Do you think I don't have a counter? Are you cycling it? Sure. That's what I thought. And I still have the ability to task Kenta. What a good spot. What a very, very good spot. And this is what I was saying the other day. Like, historically, Grixis, one of the decks Grixis, is, Grixis can feed on is um, Azorius Control. Baby. Ooh, baby, I love you way. And a Gihulk? This is not fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten mana, this cost me seven... So I could actually, I could actually do this, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's we'll do it. Doink. I actually don't care what's on top. Am I dumb? Did I count wrong? I counted wrong. How did I count? No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh. I mean. Darn. That's fine. So they can flip this now, but I do not care. Why don't they keep Aether Gust? The two Planeswalkers cast out. Sure. Sure. 
enjoy your victory for now. I have a torrential gear hulk. They have access to this. Don't care. Actually, really, I shouldn't have kept that on top. That's fine. Um, I still love no my position. I may have asked Kenta, but I have Gearhawk into Sublime Epiphany. I don't like that. I definitely don't like that. That I'm fine with. Thirty cards left? Yeah, this is fine. Honestly, I'm just gonna grab the land. Alright, I would have had it anyway, but do this first. I believe they can still absorb to gain three life here. Oh, didn't even need it. I mean, you'll love to see it. You'll love to see the, the, the good control deck beat the despicable evil control deck, says the guy who's rooting for Bolas. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's essentially how we drew it up. Arena? Thank you. All right. Uh, let's... I do want to quickly... Um, instead of a Supreme Will, we're, we're going to put in a single World in Denial. I value, um, I value the Disallow, I think. You know what? I value the Disallow too much. I think I'm going to try. Do I want to try in 2-2-2? Two, two, two? Sure, you know what? Let's try a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. See how that goes. Vito 25. Maybe it's Vito. My coffee's gone cold, I wonder why. Got off my futon. <laughs> the nighttime rain clouds up my garage. And I wish I had a better hand. I got my... Well, I'm going second. I'll keep this. I saw the boss turn one, possibly. Nope, you bolt the bird every time. You bolt the bird every single time. If you can. I currently can't. Okay. It's fine. Ooh, I do not like that. Sam I am. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want. I didn't want to take the damage. All right, so we're against Green Stompy. Going up against Green Stompy. We don't love it, especially considering the fact that we're probably going to die. And this is a situation in which uh, Languish is better than the other cards that we could have access to. Uh, Bolus is almost certainly going to die here. Yup. So now, they have no a full power creature, two, two turn clock, and a Vivian. And I drew essentially nothing. 
Mind and body should keep an open mind. Can't, I can come back from this one. Some aether gust, I'll like me some essence extraction, I'll like some of that, maybe some, I'm not sure. Uh, too slow, Shadow's Verdict, possibly fine, although I saw some big stuff. Um, Shadow's Verdict, for what it's worth, does exile uh, Ronas. My name is Ronas. Do I want a I don't, okay, it's better to get rid of the cards that I don't want. Uh, search for Skanta, very slow. Narset does essentially nothing. Uh, Alright, so those are the cards that I definitely don't want. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Uh, let's see. So I could bring back in the Gear Hulks. I could bring back in the Flame Sweeps. I don't I don't think Flame Sweep is going to help me. Thought Erasers are maybe. I might as well bring in the Gearhulks. And I think what I'm going to do here is actually get rid of... Bring in the Thought Erasures and take out one Thought Seize. Just so that the life doesn't hurt me as much. Let's see if I can have a better situation. Mm, why are you going to do this to me? Why... Oh, why do you gotta do this to me? Why gotta do this to me, baby? Why you gotta do it, honey? The perfect gift is you not emailing me anymore. That's like saying, whoa, you're tall, too conceited. We all know it's false. False. No. I guess I could have done this on upkeep. Yeah, I, I, I prefer this line. Because I do this on upkeep, right? They play a land and they still get to play something like that. And that would, uh, that'd be a card that I couldn't actually kill. Uh, do I want... Do I want to just kill this? Oh, they put it on the bottom. Interesting. So they are looking for another land. I think I would rather have it enter tapped and just counter a creature that they play here. And if they don't play anything, then I get to kill this and hold up a counter. Uh, I'm fine with that. That that cre that that I'm fine with. I don't know. That's getting that's getting into maybe not fine territory. I guess I guess I didn't realize they had so. Okay. I mean, we just we just exile odds and put them back in the position they were in. They might be able to cast something relatively large here, which is my only fear. Cool. That's not the play. That's that's not the play, opponent. I have, I mean, I have one card, they have, they have six. Did he get a land? Oh, I have six mana? Cool. Alright. We, we should hopefully be in a little bit better of a position. Because we get to just keep drawing cards every time. Oh, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is, this is, this game's over. It's, it's gotta be. Even if it's just, like, I counter this and draw a card. The following time I get to... Cast this, get this, counter things, draw cards. Like, it's it's pretty good for me. I even get a copy of this. That's nuts. Counter target spell. Okay. 
Cool. Uh, all right, we lost the first game. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll bring in the flame sweeps. I'll get rid of the thought Jesus, especially since we're going second. Um. <laughs> uh, what? Hmm. I, uh, I, uh, I don't know uh, what to get rid of. Check out a single sensor, I guess. So after I, re I finish recording Bolas, I have one, two, three, four, five, five videos left. Don't play a three drop, that hurts me, please. Okay, that's fine. I can kill this. They didn't have a three drop last turn, so it's relatively unlikely that they're gonna have a three drop this turn. Cool. Uh, I do. No, I can actually just play this tapped here. Because I have the Aether Gust. So I can just Aether Gust whatever they play here. That's actually great that I that I did it that way. Because <laughs> I'm not countering it, I'm Aether Gusting it. And then I can kill that with Essence Extraction. So what I do here is I play Mickey B to force a discard. See what they discard here. They discard a great hinge. Let's see if they just try to play Prowling Serpent Part again. They do. Okay, I'm fine with that. The plan is to just extraction that. Uh, four power. This would drop down to three. I'm going to kill it now, actually. Yeah, I have to kill this now. It does mean they might cast something else that's annoying, but I don't want them getting a great hinge down. Oh wait, I'm dumb. I could have countered Great Henge. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a terrible play. Absolutely terrible line of mine. That was that was garbage. That that I could have not done. I could not have done worse. Utterly terrible play. Absolute trash. I I am I am incredibly upset by myself. Awful play. Awful play. Absolutely dreadful. Hopefully we'll be able to stay in it. But yeah, that was that was so stupid. If they played the Great Hand, I'd just counter it and then kill kill this at end of turn otherwise. Like Very dumb. Very, very bad play on my part. Did you kill my bolus? I'd prefer if you didn't. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we can come back. That that one play. Yeah, that one play boned me. Okay, so I, I try to I try to use these as uh, teaching moments as best I can. So the reason, I mean, the the biggest reason that that we shouldn't have done that is because extra instruction is instant, right? I, I shouldn't technically. Yeah, all right. Uh, I can still draw. Uh, what's what's it called? Where are my extinction events? Yeah, okay. I, I still can draw an extinction event. This is this is not your typical stompy. I don't know what my opponent is doing here. Yeah, this is not typical stompy. I am alive. I would rather they draw blind, I think. No, I would rather they just draw one of these. They didn't want to draw blind. Or they didn't want to draw that, they would rather draw blind. I'm so incredibly upset with myself. Wow. Absolute wow. Yeah, so... Even if my opponent was able to play a Great Henge, 
I had a counterspell in hand for it. So there was there was no reason to kill the serpent part there. Because even if they attacked me, it's only four damage. And I can recoup the majority of that, 75% of it, with the, the removal spell that I was playing and casting anyway. Right? There was there, that play was atrocious because it didn't take into account the fact that they could play something else that I would want countered, like a 5-6 with reach. Uh, awful play. Terrible play. Um, yeah, if I were able to counter counter that, then I would have been able to kill the Serpent Pard, draw uh, a card, draw that land in time to flip my own uh, Boldus, taking their uh, uh, their uh, Cavalier. That, that game would have been so different if I hadn't cast um, uh, the, the Black Spell. It would have been completely different. I'm fairly certain I would have dominated because of the fact that I would have been able to flip my Bolus um, and take uh, take their their uh, Cavalier. Wow. Uh, there, I feel like there are so many learning uh, learning learning moments in Bolus because of the speed with which I recognize that I made an awful mistake. <laughs> but I, you know, it's still it's still I think important to uh, to point those out. Yeah. So. I had Disallow, and I had uh, Essence Extraction. Both of them are instant. The The reason I Essence Extracted main is because of the fact that I was like, hey, I don't want them to get great hand on the battlefield. If I did not have a Counterspell, that is a fine play. Technically speaking, it would be better to do... No, no, no. Because because the green deck could have, uh, you know, the fight the fight card, it could also have a, um, uh, something that gives it uh, more power, like uh, Inscription, for example. It's it's arguable that you still want to do it on your turn if you don't have a counterspell. But because I had a counterspell, I could have waited. Right? I could have just uh, waited, saw that they cast Cavalier. So even if they attack first, right, which is the correct thing to do, I take the damage because I'm like, hey, I can recoup the majority of that. And they cast Cavalier. I counter Cavalier. Can Cavalier goes in the graveyard. Okay. Um... Uh, I'll have to like look back and see uh, what exactly the timing of was uh, for drawing that uh, that seventh land. But right, you you counter it. Your turn. I I think I didn't have the land uh, at that point. I essence extra extraction. Cool. I'm fine. I have a four four. I don't. I probably don't attack. Then I think they play their second cavalier. Okay, that's fine. My first cavalier or my my bolus is still around. They've used their mana on cavalier. They don't have inscription at this point. Um, and I'm able to then, I believe at this point, draw that uh, that land, I flip my bolus, I take their cavalier, right? And now, I have a 5-6 against their 5-6, and they, I don't think they would have had enough mana to kick the inscription to kill my, uh, my cavalier by pumping theirs and fighting it, right? So then I would have had my nice cavalier, my bolus, uh, to be able to, you know, start... Um, start drawing two cards or, or doing a whole host of things. Um, I would have been able to start, you know, drawing uh, anything, right? So, uh, incredibly important uh, take-home message there. Don't be so quick to cast your fucking spells. <laughs> that was entirely just me playing too quickly. Anyway, uh, post-game recap. Uh, in the in the situation where I cast World 1 Denial, it was fine. It was good. It did what it needed to do. Uh, I think I am going to keep it as a 2-2-2 two, two, two for right now. Um... I might, I might end up changing it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with everything else. I, I, I like going up to the uh, second Sublime Epiphany. It does, it does mean that my Torrential Gearhawk is down to two. Technically speaking, you could, you could say, cut this bolus, put in a third uh, Gearhawk. I'm not gonna. I refuse. Um, sideboard, uh, sideboard's probably fine. I, I don't, I don't like this cling to dust. I need anything else. Yeah, literally anything else is probably better than this cling to dust. <laughs> Um, yeah, my, my main issue was just like worrying about, uh, Saltai, um, dealing with, uh, dealing with arrows and stuff, but no, I, I, I like, I like generally where the deck is at now. Um, yeah, I, I really like the changes that I made here, um, even to the, the mana base. So we're still, yeah, we're still at 26 and I feel like these tap lands hurt a little, but I don't think they hurt too much. It's possible that I can be running, um, one Canyon Slaw. I hate, I hate trying to pronounce this word. Um, and one Dragon Skull Summit. But I'm not sure. And for now, I think it's I think it's fine. So, whew, that, was, that was some fun. That was, that was fun bullets. Like, this is the type, these are the types of games I enjoy losing, right? I, 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 that was fun to lose. Because 
I mean, for, for one, it was my fault, right? I, I lost that game because I did something wrong. I didn't lose that game because my opponent was playing objectively more powerful spells. I lost because my opponent was playing tight and I was playing poorly. Um, and, and it had a, it had a teachable moment. I, I'm, I'm gushing about the game. No one cares. No, no one's left. Anyway, I, I hope all of you can tell how excited I am about... I, I like moments like these. I, it's so hard to, to, to put into words how much I like situations like this where I get a chance to, uh, to, to teach about the fact, like, the reason why I'm bad at playing, but I'm not bad in theory. <laughs> like, I recognize the, the line that's correct. I, I'm, okay, I, I'm talking too much again. Whew. Anyway, I would like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Fogwin, Malik, and Balatair, for their continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the show, you'll find links in the description below. I hope, of course, that you've enjoyed this video at least half as much as I have. Uh, and if you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff really helps out the show. Um, yeah, until next time, all will be uh, one, like Lord Bullis.